The Constitutional Court has ruled that the changes in the public media made by Minister Shenkiewicz and his appointees are unconstitutional. At issue is the legislation under which the Minister of Culture changed the governing bodies of Television Poland, Polish Radio, and then began to the procedure to liquidate these companies. What does the Culture Ministry say about this? The Constitutional Court's ruling on the units of public broadcasting has no legal significance whatsoever, it said in a communique. Obviously, because this government does not recognise many state institutions, including the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court has ruled that the Broadcasting Act does not allow the provisions of the Commercial Companies Code, invoked by Bartromej Szenkiewicz, to apply to public media. Public broadcasting units may not be dissolved and liquidated. It is inconsistent with Article 2 of the Constitution. In the opinion of representatives of the governing coalition, the verdict is legally flawed, and they also undermine the status of judges. The Ministry of Culture cites the rulings of the court, not of the Polish court, but of the European court. Today's ruling of the Constitutional Court on public broadcasting units has no legal significance whatsoever. The rulings and resolution issued in recent years by the European Court of Human Rights and the Supreme Court relating to the current construction of the Constitutional Court, including the entire circumstances of the staffing and functioning of this institution, confirm that it is not an independent and impartial constitutional court, and that its judgments, issued with the participation of so-called understudied judges, persons appointed as judges to the Constitutional Court for seats already filled, do not have universally binding force and are not final. They should be disregarded in legal proceedings as non-existent. Ruling coalition deputies defend Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz's actions on putting public media into liquidation. If there is no money to maintain this company today, we act in law to save the TV station. Last December, the legislation invoked by Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz was referred to the Constitutional Court by law and justice deputies. Interestingly, on the 10th of January, the company the company's registry court decided to refuse to enter the changes of data in the National Court Register regarding Telewizja Polska. The decision indicated that the resolution on the appointment of members of the company's supervisory board and management board was adopted by an unauthorized body. Confirm the legality of these actions by the National Judicial Register, which did not recognize these decisions. There are attempts by the ruling coalition to bend the law and misapply regulations. This is, unfortunately, a complete devaluation that is being done by those circles that enacted the current constitution. Bartromej Szenkiewicz may also have committed a falsehood. When the same passed a resolution on public media after 10 p.m. on the 19th of December last year, moments later, in just 107 minutes, Bartromej Szenkiewicz convened a general meeting of TVP Polska, Polish Radio and the Polish Press Agency Company, naming their boards of directors and supervisory boards. A pace truly fast, even unbelievable. The culture minister refuses to confirm these facts by presenting, for example, monitoring or an entry and exit book. The functioning of the rule of law is to respect the laws that are in force, especially if these are court rulings. So we are dealing with a kind of coup d'etat. The Constitutional Court also ruled that any decisions issued by Bartomej Szenkiewicz on the public media under the provisions of the Commercial Companies Code have no legal effect. Łukasz Muda, Telewizja Republika.